Hello everybody, Phantom Gamer here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a Linux tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at running Minecraft on Linux, specifically Mint 17.2. This tutorial will work with Ubuntu and any derivative of that, so anything that's based on Ubuntu, this should work for. So if you just fresh installed, you probably don't have the newest version of Java Runtime which is going to be your Oracle Java 8, I believe is the newest version. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get that, because you're not going to be able to run Minecraft properly without it, and you're going to need it for Linux specifically. So open your terminal up, you're going to need this in a second, and just minimize it, you know, put it down in your, in your old toolbar, and then you're going to want to go to this website. And I'm going to put this link in the description so you guys can easily get to here. And what you'll see first is this, this set of commands right here. And all this is going to do is add the repository of, you know, the, the Oracle Java into your system. And then you're going to update, which gives it downloads all your packages. And then you're going to install this specific package and you'll be good to go. So open that terminal up that you just opened up a couple seconds ago. And all you're going to do is copy this command and then paste it into your terminal. And obviously when you try to do this, it's going to make you put in your password. You just put in your password and press enter and it'll do that. It'll add that repository for you. And then after you do that, you're just gonna copy this one in and then put it in and paste and then copy this one in and then paste and press enter. And then you'll have it installed. And to know that you have it installed, go down here to your menu or if you're on Unity, it'll be probably somewhere in your main folder just just look for your applications basically and you're gonna go to system tools if you're on mint and you should see Oracle Java 8 console and Oracle Java 8 visual virtual machine and if those two are there then you have it installed alright the next step is going to be downloading Minecraft so open up your browser whatever you happen to have if it's Mozilla pale moon or in this case chromium go to minecraft.net and obviously you're gonna have to have your premium account and the first thing you're gonna see when you come to this website is this and after you log in which is gonna be up here next to the logout if you have not already logged in and obviously you're gonna have to have your premium account as I said before and you're just gonna have your download button so click on your download button and it's gonna recognize that you're on Linux and it's just gonna show you this right here minecraft for Linux slash other so it's just right there. All you're going to do is click on minecraft.jar and then click on keep and it should download. Then you're going to minimize, go to your file manager which on mint is right here if you're not familiar with it. Go to your downloads and it should be right here. Now the reason I'm downloading a new jar is because of what you have to do to the jar in order to make it runnable. So if you didn't already get Java, like I showed you how to do earlier, it's going to show that it's going to try and let you run it with Ice T Java Web Start. And let me just show you what happens if you try to run it with this. You get a little pop up, and it's going to say you're unable to launch it. And that's true, because that Java is not for running the jar. So, what you're going to want to do is right click on your jar, go to properties, then go to your permissions tab and go all the way down here to allow executing file as program and then close and you're done then right click and use open with Oracle Java 8 runtime this might show up under here if you haven't already used it or it might show up but if it doesn't then just open up your other application and go here and click on Oracle Java 8 runtime open and you'll see it's running You'll get your Minecraft launcher, it'll start it up for you. Then once you boot into it, it's going to show you to log in, and you know how to do all that stuff, and then it brings you here. And then after you're done with that, all you're going to do is click on play. It'll download what you need to download if you haven't already done that. And then it'll open, and you have Minecraft, and you can maximize it, and it works just like any other Minecraft does. Single player. I already have a world, so it doesn't take long to make a new one for all you lovely people. And then it just plops you into Minecraft. And this is it. This is it fully working, 
It's no gimmicks here. It's Minecraft, just as you've played it on Windows before. You're good to go. You can go farm, mine diamonds, whatever you, whatever your heart desires. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this tutorial on how to run Minecraft 1.8.8 on Linux. If you guys liked it, leave a comment down below and like this video. And if you like all the other stuff you've seen on my channel, why not subscribe? I'll be putting out new content probably soon after I get all my games that I want installed on here and running them nice and well. But anyway, guys, have a good one, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.